السلام علیکم میں ہوں مختار احمد ورچل یونیورسٹی کے کورس ہیومن ریسورس مینجمنٹ کے ساتھ اور آج ہم اپنا لیکچر نمبر فورٹی وو ڈسکس کریں گے سو وی وی آر آلویز کلوز وی آر ڈن فورٹی فائیو لیکچر ہیں ہمارے سارے تو آج ہم لیکچر نمبر فورٹی فور ڈسکس کریں گے تو آج کا سیشن شروع کرتے ہیں بٹ بیفور وی اسٹارٹ اوور ٹوڈیز سیشن لیٹ می آسک یو فیو کوشچنس ہم نے اپنے چالیس لیکچر جو لیکچر نمبر ون سے لے کے لیکچر نمبر فورٹی تک وہ ڈیڈیکیٹڈ دوز لیکچرس ٹو انڈرسٹینڈ دا بیسک مینجمنٹ کنسیپٹ اینڈ آف کورس دا مین ایمفیسز واز آن اوور ہیومن ریسورس مینجمنٹ پارٹ اور پھر ہم نے اینڈ پہ آ کے فورٹی ون سے لے کے فورٹی تھری لیکچرس تک وی ریویو دوز بیسک ہیومن ریسورس مینجمنٹ فنکشنس سو مائی کوشچن ول بی ناؤ ہاؤ یو آر فیلنگ اباؤٹ دا لرننگ Are you confident enough, ready to go for an evaluation? If yes, we both should be proud. If no, something is wrong. Still you have time. Get back to us and we'll try to help you out. Let's start our today's session. As usual, we have to quickly go back and see what we have covered during our previous lecture. And that was lecture number 43. जैसे आपको मालूम है कि हमने पिछले तीन lectures के अंदर सारे human resource management के functions को review के अंदाज में quickly we have covered it, starting with the staffing, human resource development, compensation benefit, health and safety, and implies labor relationship. تو لاسٹ لیکچر میں ہم نے لاسٹ تھری پارٹ کور کیے دا کمپنسیشن بینیفٹس اس کے علاوہ سیفٹی اینڈ ہیلتھ یا ہیلتھ اینڈ سیفٹی پروگرامس جو ہوتے ہیں اینڈ امپلائیز لیبر ریلیشن شپ جس میں یونین کلیکٹیو بارگیننگ ان چیزوں کو ڈسکس کیا سو دیٹ پارٹ از ناؤ کمپلیٹیڈ آئی ایم شیور دیٹ آپ کا کانفیڈنس لیول ہائی ہو گیا ہوگا اس دوبارہ ریویو کرنے کے بعد آج کیا ہم نے ڈسکس کرنا تھا very important topic especially when we are talking about that world is becoming a global village we are going toward globalization usi hawale se hamara topic hai managing human resources in an international business global business or international business we'll use both terms simultaneously but maksad ek hi hai اسٹیجز آف گلوبل آرگنائزیشن کیسے شروع ہوئیں کیا کیا اسٹیجز سے گزر کے وہ گلوبلائزیشن کے کانسیپٹ پہ آتے ہیں اٹ اسٹارٹ ود دا ڈومیسٹک آرگنائزیشن وین یو آر فوکسنگ اونلی ان یور اون کنٹری ڈومیسٹک آرگنائزیشن ہوتی ہے پھر نیکسٹ اسٹیج پہ انٹرنیشنل آرگنائزیشن بن جاتی ہے کہ اس کے پروڈکٹ یا سروسز اپنی باؤنڈری سے باہر جاتے ہیں دین اٹ کین بی ملٹی نیشنل کہ مختلف جگہوں پہ مختلف کنٹریز کے اندر اس کے مختلف یونٹس کام کر رہے ہیں سملرلی گلوبل آ ٹرانس نیشنل آرگنائزیشن جس کے کہتے ہیں کہ جس کی مختلف کنٹری کے اندر انڈیپینڈنٹ یونٹ لگے ہیں اور کام کر رہے ہیں سو دے آر ڈفرنٹ اسٹیجز ان دوز انٹرنیشنل بزنس آر گلوبلائزیشن بزنس بٹ وائی وائی ٹو گو فار گلوبل وائی ٹو گو فار انٹرنیشنل بزنس دا بگ کوشچن مارک Do you have any idea why people think they want to go beyond their domestic boundaries? Apne business ko kyun expand karna chahte hain? Very logical answer can be, of course, they want to increase their market share. They want to increase their business. Of course, that's a good answer. What else? Uske alawa ye bhi ho sakta hai ki competition mein apne aap ko sustain karne ke liye they want to go out. They might have produced more and they have already saturated their domestic market. So they are looking new markets. That is why they are going out of boundaries, out of their domestic boundaries. Uske lava kya reason ho sakti hai? And few time, and some time rather, organization can also go beyond their domestic markets because 
there are some benefits involved there. It may be the labor is cheap there, the raw material is available easily there, transportation is easily managed from there, or maybe some other tariffs and those type of things. But yes, this is the trend in the market now. Okay, people are thinking beyond their boundaries. And that is the basic concept of this globalization, the international business concept. Pe people are thinking beyond their domestic market. Or you came over, it though communication improve we new technologies are again exposure but pressure but competitive pressure was there. So business started thinking of expanding the merger and acquisition started chota chota unit milk cake bada setup bana us ke bhi fayde nuksana that is a different story but we don't want to go there but they were these are the different aspect different forces jis ki wajah se business phale landscape duniya ki change hogi that was that was another reason مختلف قسم کے ٹیرفز مختلف قسم کے ایگریمنٹ سائن ہونا شروع ہو گئے نیفٹا ہے اینڈ سیمیلرلی ادرس اکنامک پریشر از دیئر دا لینڈ اسکیپ آف دا گلوب از چینجنگ ایف یو سی ایٹ دا گلوب کسی دور میں یو ایس ایس آر رشیا واز اے بگ ایک پارٹ آف دا ورلڈ اب وہ چھوٹے چھوٹے اسٹیٹس میں ڈیوائڈ ہو گیا اسی طرح یورپین یونین इकट्ठी होके मर्ज होके इमर्ज होके एक बहुत बड़ा सेटअप बन रहा है और बिजनेस के तौर तरीके बदल जाएंगे एंड सिमिलरली अदर फैक्टर्स दे आर फोर्स्ड बिजनेस टू थिंक बियॉन्ड देयर मार्केट्स बियॉन्ड देयर डोमेस्टिक बाउंड्रीज सो दीज वर द रीजन दैट बिजनेस आर गोइंग आउट ऑफ देयर domestic markets. So let's see those evaluations of global business. It may start what you have said that domestic say international kitharaf you started exporting things. Or skip it isn't but I have got is that a production of the domestic market saturate hobby are x opportunities kill you have to compete at an essay key up maybe can I should call the year and some for us other other opportunities you start exporting. कुछ टर्मिनोलॉजी ऐसी आएगी जिससे आपको इन चीज़ों को समझने में भी फ़ायदा मिलेगा लाइसेंसिंग ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ग्रांट्स ए फॉरेन फर्म द राइट टू यूज इंटेलेक्चुअल प्रॉपर्टीज कि आप उनका नाम यूज़ करके दूसरी जगहों पे बिजनेस कर सकते हैं दैट इज लाइसेंसिंग इसी तरह की एक और टर्म है जिसे हम फ्रेंचाइजिंग कहते हैं लेकिन फ्रेंचाइजिंग में पेरेंट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन दे हैव द होल्ड कि उनकी प्रोस्क्राइब मैनर के साथ आप काम कर सकते हैं दिस इज हाउ दे स्टार्ट एक्सपेंडिंग नाउ बड़ी बड़ी जो जॉइंट्स हैं मल्टीनेशनल दे आर ऑल्सो एंटरिंग इन आवर कंट्री यू हैव सीन द मैकडोनल्ड यू हैव सीन द के एफ सी यू हैव सीन द जनरल इलेक्ट्रिक एंड अदर थिंग्स पेप्सी कोक दे आर ऑल कमिंग दे आर फोकसिंग नाउ दिस एरिया सी द सब कॉन्टिनेंट बिकॉज दे हैव द ह्यूज मार्केट अवेलेबल है द पॉपुलेशन ऑफ इंडिया पाकिस्तान चाइना यू जस्ट कंपेयर द दुनिया में मैक्सिम पॉपुलेशन इसी साइड पर है द मार्केट इज इेयर the potential buyer similarly multinational corporations bani firms that is based in one country and produce goods or pro and provide services in one or more foreign countries wo multinational wala concept aa gaya and global corporation this mein jaise kaha tha aapko ki the corporate unit in a number of countries that are integrated to operate as one organization whole worldwide to ye global corporation ka concept bhi develop isi se hua कुछ जैसे मैंने आपसे कहा कुछ लफ्स सुनने को मिलेंगे एक्सपेट्रिएट ये क्या होता है आपने बड़ा लफ्स सुना होगा कि पाकिस्तानी एक्सपेट्रिएट पाकिस्तानी वर्किंग अब्रॉड ए सिटीजन ऑफ वन कंट्री लिविंग एंड वर्किंग इन अनदर कंट्री इज नोन एज एक्सपेट्रिएट मल्टीनेशनल कॉरपोरेशन किसको कहते हैं ए फर्म विद असम्बली एंड प्रोडक्शन फैसिलिटी इन सेवरल कंट्रीज एंड रीजन ऑफ द वर्ल्ड वी कॉल द मल्टी नेशनल कॉरपोरेशन एम एन सी इसको भी कहते हैं सिमिलरली ट्रांसनेशनल कॉरपोरेशन A firm which operates in many countries and highly decentralized operations, the firm owns little to its country of origin and has weak ties to any given country. वो जो unit मुख्तलिफ countries में they are working 
independently but under of course under the same corporate umbrella now with our subject related to our subject human resource and inter in international business challenges why are we concerned because people are working everywhere human resources are there they are playing very important role so let's see what kind of challenges related to our subject the human resource management are there due to this international expansion of business or international business or we can say the global business what hrm strategies are appropriate at different stages of international internationalization ye jo globalization ka concept aa raha hai to kya hame ek hi strategy ke sath chalna chahiye kya mukhtalif aayengi of course it vary from country to country region to regions how is the best employees mix how how can we make sure that we can have the best employees mix available with us let's see if one of our unit is in another country how many employees should i have from the host country or how many have from the parent country ye mix host country or expatriates kis kitne ratio se karne hai aur kisna best mix aapne create karni hai ye ek bada another challenge sometime there are legal bindings from those countries the host country ke aapko yahan ke local logon ko is kaam lena hai aur wo aapke liye hr ke hawale se is a big problem because that the culture is different the values are different the work behavior is different aage chal ke wo discuss karte hain ye cheeze mein why do international assignments fail aur isi wajah se dekha gaya hai ki when you go for international business most of the time if you don't have the right planning if you don't have the proper contingency plans and support you might fail there and how are returning employees reintegrated into the firms ye this is also very important now if you want to send your own worker abroad of course it will be for some time for some duration one year two year five year or so on so one way or other they have to come back aur jab wo wapas aate hain so that is a big problem usko kaise settle karna that is another challenge how can you develop your workforce when we are talking about international business knowledge and innovation dissemination how can you make sure that they are disseminated equally in each part of your setup aur phir identifying and development talent on a global basis uski training development aapke mukhtalif setups hain usko kaise externalize base pe kaise manage karenge another challenge and how inter country difference affect hrm and we believe this and this is acceptable and we accept it ke we differ from each other when we are talking about country to country region to regions or how it is they are affecting your hr practices your hr management let's see them three very important factors the most important one is the culture factor economic factor and labor cost factor of course it is also it has to do with the economic factors so let's start about culture and as i said this is the most important challenge factor or you can whatever you say about when we're talking about globalization when we're talking about international business culture perspective dekhte hain ye kya hota hai kya indicators hain kya parameters hain iske kya dimensions hain aur isse kya farak padta hai and by the way you know what is culture right कल्चर एनवायरनमेंट की जब आप बात करते हैं तो उसमें लैंग्वेज आ जाती है उस एरिया का उस कंट्री के रिलीजन आ जाते हैं वैल्यूज आ जाते हैं एंड मोस्ट ऑफ दीज दो थिंग बेस्ड ऑन द वैल्यू पार्ट यू रिमेम्बर इन द बिगिनिंग व्हेन वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द परसेप्शन द वैल्यूज द नाम्स सो बेस इज द बेस लाइन इज द वैल्यूज एंड ऑफकोर्स योर फैमिली सिस्टम योर कल्चर यू आल दो थिंग आर इफेक्टिंग योर वैल्यूज उसके अलावा द एटीट्यूड द एजुकेशन द पॉलिटिक्स एंड लाव द कंट्री दे आल इफेक्ट द कल्चर ऑफ ए पर्टिकुलर अ कल्चर इन्वायरमेंट ऑफ ए पर्टिकुलर इन्वायरमेंट और येस दे डू मैटर बिकॉज दे प्ले वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट रोल इन योर डिसीजन मेकिंग इन योर मैनेजमेंट एंड पर्टिकुलरली वैन वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट मैनेजिंग द पीपल 
So cultural environment is the key for success or failure. If you can understand it well, you can be successful. If you miss it, you fail. So we will put extra emphasis on these, this topic and spend more time to understand the cultural aspect of a country and how it is affecting your decisions about HR management. Dimensions of culture, when we are talking about culture, power distance, some culture have, they, they keep good distance when we are talking about different power, different levels, authorities. Similarly, individualisms, kya individual ki worth hoti hai, aapke culture mein different hai, dusre culture mein different hogi. How you will handle the uncertainty, it again vary from culture to culture. Feminacy, the female, male, gender ko jo issue hai, isko kaise address karna hai? Kaise people, how people behave in different cultures? How they expect from each other? That also different from culture to culture. Similarly, long term, short term orientation kya hai? What is the commitment? These all affect the human being, the people and if they are in a different cultures. Let us see some other dimensions on which culture differs. The nature of the people, aapne bhi observe kiya hoga, even within one country, we can have different people with different nature. Aap ek region se, ek area se, dusre area mein chale jayen, nature of people will change. Unka work behavior, especially we are talking about the work behavior, theek hai na? How people relate to each other. Some people are very formal, some people are very informal. How they relate with each other, that also affect your work behavior. Primary mode of activities, conception of space, how much distance you want, how, about, how important the space is for you, what is your personal space, what is the privacy, all these cultural aspects affect your decisions. And time orientation. Time can be important for somebody. In some culture, time may be precious. In some culture, it might, might not be that much precious. So that also affects your work decisions or workflow decision when we are talking about global business or international business. Impact of culture on HRM practices or IR, IHRM, International Human Resource Management or global human resource management, like an abhi iski abbreviation hum IHRM hi leke chalenge, International Human Resource Management Practices, kaise culture effect karta hai. Kuch aise aspects hote hai culture ke, which you can see, aur kuch aise hote hai, jo aap feel kar sakte ho, dek sin sakte hai. Let's see first, those aspects of culture, which you can see. Dress, like, this is a formal dress in our system, whenever we go for any presentation, any discussion, any meeting, we always try to be formal. But if you look toward some western countries, they have a different approach. The British colonies are areas where there is a formal dress, tie, coat, pant coat, this is what it is, it is understood that it is essential. But if you go towards state or other places, then this is, they do not take it, the formal dress as a requirement. To dress is something you can observe, you can see and it differ from culture to culture. Is there food? Different people have different priorities about food. Kuch log kis tarah ka khana pasand karte hain, kuch log kis tarah ka khana pasand karte hain. Hamare subcontinent mein, we prefer the sweeter part. Dusi side pe chale jayen, wo thoda sa different kisam ke food ko pasand karte hain. Remember, we are talking about culture. Similarly, climate. We have different uh, climate in the world. Pakistan, we are lucky that we have all four climates. But some country, they might not have the all different climates. Kisi mein bhoho zayada sardi hoti hai, kisi mein bhoho zayada garmi hoti hai. Or kuch mohto dil hoti hai. Or climate ka, environment ka bhi farak parta hai aapke behavior pe. Housing, different concept, different type of housing requirements at different places. And similarly, there are few aspects of culture, you can't see them. But they are also playing very important role when we are talking about the behavior. And ultimately it has to come to your decision making that how you should manage the people. Because in one culture, 
they have they might be expecting something different but people from different culture their expectation will be different because in their culture they have a different value for that let's see those aspects which we can't see like communication style we here teach our students our kids to be very respectful to elder to your boss to your supervisor in other culture they might not take it serious here we can't just call a person if he is elder by his or her name mera ustad agar mere samne aaye to main unka naam leke to bula nahi sakta mere parents hain agar father hain to main unka adab se bulaunga unka direct naam leke shayad na hamare yahan munasib nahi samjha jata lekin yahi agar aap us taraf chale jaye america side pe to they feel indifferent if you will ask call them with the respect like sir and they will feel you are expecting something from them and that was experience i also got when i went there so it was very difficult for me to call my teacher with name but that was a culture and we have to adopt it us culture mein aapko uske naam se bulana padta hai shout karke yahan pe isko badtameezi ke usme liya jata hai to see kis tarah ka aur kis tarah aapne communicate karna hai subordinates ka boss ke sath boss ka aur colleague ke sath kis tarah aapne communicate karna hai that also differ from culture to culture what motivate people that also differ see jaise humne motivation theory mein padha ki kis level pe hai if we are talking about third world countries of course they will be motivated with the money with the financial reward other people of course money is also very important for them but they might have other motivational factors too so it also vary from culture to culture uske alawa role expectations we have different role expectation kisi aur culture mein different ho sakta hai aap se aapke parents kya expect karte hain ki you will work hard and what you should be expecting from your parents ki they will support you they will provide you all those facilities lekin kisi aur country ka aap culture utha ke dekhein to wahan pe you have to earn your own living especially if you are above 16 year of age to see similarly at the workplace role expectation are different from culture to culture negotiation style very different from culture to culture some people start negotiation and direct they will come to the point and settle it in some other culture they will first make it convenient that the confidence building is there and then they will start negotiation so again this is different non verbal communications in some cultures in some countries they don't focus lot of things on non verbal communication but in some culture in some other countries this non verbal communication play very important role to ye bhi differ kar sakta hai tempo of work ye to badi obvious cheez nazar aati hai ki kis kism ka culture to culture vary karta hai how task are assigned again it vary from culture to culture attitude toward authorities ye bhi vary karta hai jaise abhi aapko कम्युनिकेशन स्टाइल में मैंने आपको समझाया हुआ तो आई बिलीव यू एक्सेप्टेड राइट कि यस द थिंग्स वेरी फ्रॉम कल्चर टू कल्चर व्हाई वी आर स्टडिंग दोज थिंग्स बिकॉज अल्टीमेटली वी हैव टू मैनेज पीपल विद डिफरेंट कल्चर्स सो इफ वी अंडरस्टैंड इफ वी एक्सेप्टेड देन इट विल बी वेरी इजी फॉर अस टू मैनेज दैट अदरवाइज वुड बी ऑलवेज फेसिंग द प्रॉब्लम्स क्रॉस कल्चरल डिफरेंसेज इन द वर्क उसी चीज से रिलेट है हाउ इंटरव्यू शुड बी कंडक्टेड डिफरेंट कल्चर में डिफरेंट स्टाइल के साथ इंटरव्यू कंडक्ट किए जाते हैं इट इज इन सम ऑर्गेनाइजेशन वेरी फ्रेंडली दे विल कॉल यू एट कप ऑफ टी दे विल कॉल यू एट फॉर लंच दे माइट हैव ए डिनर टुगेदर एंड दैट इज योर इंटरव्यू इन सम कंट्री इन सम ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इन सम कल्चर नो इट इज अ फॉर्मल इंटरव्यू यू शुड सिट वेरी ओबीडियंट इन फ्रंट ऑफ ए बोर्ड एंड रिप्लाई and if you argue ye aapke negative aspect mein jayega kisi aur culture mein it can be a positive sign ke okay? he got the guts to talk to challenge how managers should act with their subordinates this is also very important kahan pe kahin pe jisra hamare yahan we very formal distance type of things manager aur subordinates ka relationship kis tarah ka hai 
लेकिन डिफरेंट कल्चर के अंदर इट इज डिफरेंट आई होप यू गट द मैसेज आई क्विकली गो थ्रू दोज थिंग अदरवाइज वुल स्टे द कल्चर पार्ट आई एम फोकसिंग इट मोर बिकॉज इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट हाउ नेगोशिएशन शुड बी कंडक्टेड ये पहले भी हमने देखा हाउ ट्रेनिंग शुड बी डिलीवर अगेन डिफर फ्रॉम कल्चर टू कल्चर हाउ पीपल शुड बी पेड फॉर वर्क किसी सोसाइटी के अंदर कल्चर के अंदर दे आर गेटिंग द वीकली पे हेयर वी आर गेटिंग द मंथली पे सिमिलरली हाउ मच शुड वी पे इट डिपेंड किसी जगह मंथली रेंट जो है घर का चंद हजार रुपये है किसी जगह लाखों के करीब होता है If we do the conversion from the foreign currency, that was the culture part. What about the different economic systems? We should have seen that there are two dimensions and two challenges. One was culture, second was difference in economic systems. In free enterprise systems, free enterprise system, where there is open marketing, open business, their efficiency is the main key. The competitive pressures. and they tend to favor hr policies that value productivity efficiency of workers and staff cutting where market dictate and that is your right if you think you're not getting eff eff efficient results you can cut down downsize your workforce that is normal in that society because they have the open economic system but in other socialist areas where they have the socialist economic system hr practices tend to shift toward preventing unemployment even at the expense of sacrificing efficiency you cannot fire people because system ke andar it they prevent you to go for firing people even if it has to at your cost of your own survival why we are discussing international human resource management i believe नाउ यू हैव एन ऑफ बेस कि क्या चीज़ है इंटरनेशनल बिजनेस क्या चीज़ है ग्लोबलाइजेशन क्या है और वहाँ पर कल्चर ये बाकी चीज़ें किस तरह इफेक्ट कर रही हैं नाउ लेट्स मूव बैक टू अवर ऑन सब्जेक्ट ऑफ ह्यूमन रिसोर्स मैनेजमेंट वाई वी वॉन्ट टू डिस्कस इट बिकमिंग ट्रूली ग्लोबल रिक्वायर्ड इफेक्टिव मैनेजमेंट ऑफ ए डाइवर्स इंटरनेशनल लेबर फोर्स वेन यू आर थिंकिंग बिकॉज एवरी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एवरीबडी वॉन्ट टू गो फॉर ग्लोबलाइजेशन दे वॉन्ट टू बी द ग्लोबल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन and if you want to be the global organization then it requires that you should have effective management of a diverse international labor force now you have people with different cultures people with different expectation people with different values different norms so it is becoming more difficult but not impossible same time so how can we define international human resource management international hr management is a strategic integration and alignment of hr practices with business objectives to enhance firm and employee performance around the globe so basically it is the management of managing the people around the globe in a simplest word think about how you would get talent in throughout jab aap global organization ki shakal mein aa rahe hain aage आपके पास हर किस्म के हर नस्ल के हर कल्चर के लोग आएंगे और यू नो दैट डाइवर्सिटी इज इंपॉर्टेंट वे हैव ऑलरेडी कवर दैट पार्ट डाइवर्सिटी एट वर्क प्लेस ना डाइवर्सिटी बेस्ड ऑन डिफरेंट कल्चर डिफरेंट बैकग्राउंड डिफरेंट कंट्रीज ओरिजिन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वाई इट इज इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज नाउ यू हैव सो मच डिफरेंट डाइवर्सिफाई रिसोर्सेज ह्यूमन रिसोर्सेज दे कैन क्रिएट मेरिकल फॉर यू दे कैन ब्रिंग फॉर्चून फॉर यू but same time it is putting extra pressure on you because now the managing them will be a tough job different expectations different values different norms different culture and so on so but the benefits are more so we'll go for benefits aur kya jana us organization ka global scale pe phir मुख्तलिफ एक्टिविटीज जो एच आर एम की हैं रिक्रूटिंग है सिलेक्शन है कंपनसेशन है बेनिफिट्स हैं परफॉर्मेंस मैनेजमेंट है और ट्रेनिंग है दैट विल बिकम मोर इम्पॉर्टेंट एंड ऑफकोर्स मोर चैलेंजिंग वन फॉर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन लेट स्टार्ट विथ यू दो एक्टिविटीज एंड ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड इन द प्रॉस्पेक्ट ऑफ इंटरनेशनल ह्यूमन रिसोर्स मैनेजमेंट लेट स्टार्ट विद द ग्लोबल एच आर 
or international HR planning. In deciding level of international involvement of the business, HR provides information about relevant HR issues, for example, local market, pay rate, labor laws. When you are planning, you have to plan based on what? The information which you will get about the local market, pay rates, kya hai, labor laws, kya hai, jis pe aap jana Now, based on that, you will plan ki kitne log aapne provided if law is not restricting you of the host country. Ki how many you will hire from the local market, how many you will get from the host country, for, from parent country rather, or from the third country. Or phir, iska bhi aapne plan karna hai, or decide karna hai, ki har facilities ke liye kitne log aapko chahiye. So, international staffing ki jab aap baat karte hai, planning mein, key issues will come to recruitment, selection, or training and development mein. Let's see about selection part, when we're talking about international human resource management or global HR selection process. Is mein yehi dekhna hai, host country, parent country ya third country nations, unko identify karna hai, aur phir bhi decide karna hai, ki should I go for locally hiring, aur kis job ke liye local hire rakhna hai, aur kis job ke liye aapko apni parent country se logon ko bejna hai. It might be strategical decision, right? And of course, people prefer to have the main key position from their own countries, strategically maybe, and sometimes they might need a key figure from the host country to have influence in that market, have a good relationship with the that market to facilitate your business. It depends, it vary from situation to situation. Similarly, anticipate emotional cycle associated with foreign assignments. If you are sending people abroad, to aapko uske liye bhi tiyar rehna chahiye, ke if you are sending, they might be going there, but they might be facing the cultural shock part there. People going to different countries for job, and we have seen that they might have very strong culture shock there. They are not adjusted there in those different cultures. Or unke liye, it become impossible sometime to work there. Or iske liye bhi, then when you are doing the selection, you should keep in your mind that culture shock part there. So before sending them, make sure that you have that proper training for them to observe if any kind of culture shocks are they are facing there. Okay? Uske lava learning, adjustment, there are another problems. Learning might be their language, their norms, values. That can also affect your decision of selection of expatriate or people from your own country. Similarly, consider criteria associated with the success in working overseas, competency, Ability to communicate verbally, non-verbally in foreign country. Flexibility, uske andar tolerance kitni hai. Ambiguity ko kitni achhi zara handle kar sakte hai. Or sensitive toward the cultural differences. Some people are very sensitive. And they always feel big problem when working in different cultures. Motivation to success. Enjoyment about challenges, how much they are willing to take the challenge. Willingness to learn about country's culture, language, custom. What about the support from the family? If they don't have the support, then most of the time they will be giving you the problems. Selection of employees for international assignments. Emphasize culture sensitivity as selection criteria, the basic thing. Just I mean, culture is very important. Even if you are thinking to go in a different market, us culture ko samajna. Then you have all your decisions so that you don't have a problem. Because that is a different world. That is going to be a different world. If you are working, if you are familiar with this system, that might be different. Or you should be ready before going there. Establish a selection board of expatriates so that you can have a sense that they have the experience of the country of the outside of the country. In this way, you must understand that if you select them, they have some experience Bahir ka international ka pehle bhi ho, that is a plus point. Or isi tarah unki screening bhi karni chahiye, uske spouse ki, unki families ki, ki aisa to nahi hai ki family support nahi hai aur family problem baad mein aana shuru ho jaye. Then about global HR training and development ki baat karte hai. When we're talking about international human resource management. Consider differences when developing trainings. Why? Because again, the norms for participation, language, content, etc., that will differ from culture to culture. Kehi learning, bari achitra jaldi ho jati hai. Kehi aapko bada 
स्लोली जाना पड़ता है और लर्निंग स्टाइल किसी किसी तरह का है किसी जगह किसी तरह का है क्रॉस कल्चर प्रिपरेशन फॉर इंटरनेशनल असाइनमेंट्स इज वेरी इसेंशियल उनको ट्रेनिंग देनी चाहिए डिपार्चर के वक्त डिपार्चर से रादर पहले अबाउट द कल्चर अबाउट द उस जगह की लैंग्वेज अदर थिंग्स एंड इवन ड्यूरिंग असाइनमेंट और फिर इंपॉर्टेंट वैन दे विल रिटर्न बिकॉज नाउ दे माइट हैव अनदर क्लचर शॉक बिकॉज दे आर कमिंग बैक होम and they are now more used to of those other countries where they were working so this is again a fix or international assignment as part of the career path development the training or development up agar us international human resource management ke hisab se kar rahe hain usme in sare aspect ka khayal karna hai ki training kaisi hogi vary from culture to culture uske us in cheezon ko inbuilt kijiye फिर क्रॉस कल्चर ट्रेनिंग जरूरी है किसी को इंटरनेशनल असाइनमेंट देने से पहले और अगेन बिल्ड इन दो ऑल एस्पेक्ट इन देयर कैरियर पाथ ताकि उनका कैरियर ब्लॉक ना हो वापस आके दे माइट नॉट बी लॉस्ट उनका उनको फायदा होना चाहिए फोर स्टेप अप्रोचेस टू ट्रेनिंग ओवरसीज कैंडिडेट्स लेट्स गो एंड सी दैम लेवल वन ट्रेनिंग फोकस इज ऑन द इम्पैक्ट ऑफ कल्चर डिफरेंसिस and on raising trainees awareness of the such differences and their impact on the business outcomes see everywhere whatever we'll talk the culture is playing very important role to pehla level jo aapka training ka ho unke liye ek to wo hai ki unka focus culture ke impact pe hona chahiye unko awareness badani hai us differences kya kya hain aur fir uska impact kya business pe hoga so that is see if they don't know that they have a different negotiation style and if the person is going from this country and he or she will implement those negotiation style style there they will fail and what is the relationship of boss subordinate or supervisor subordinate if one person will try to implement it for the host country from their parent country again this will be a problem to usko pehle usko awareness karana hai aur taaki uska impact business pe uske outcome se pata chale level 2 training aims at getting participants to understand how attitude both negative and positive are formed and how they influence behavior again pertaining to particular environment particular cultures kuch jo hai aapke positive aur negative attitude hote hain again it vary from culture to culture kisi culture mein ek particular attitude behavior can be seen as a positive sign dusre mein इसको नेगेटिव भी लिए जा सकते लेवल थ्री ट्रेनिंग प्रोवाइड्स फैक्चुअल नॉलेज अबाउट द टारगेट कंट्री डिटेल उस कंट्री के बारे में और कहा यह जाता है कि जब आप किसी कंट्री में जाएं तो आपके पास उस कंट्री के किसी रहने वाले से ज्यादा नॉलेज उसका होना चाहिए देन यू विल बी सक्सेसफुल इट इज लाइक वार सी वेन ड्यूरिंग वार दे ऑलवेज से द पर्सन और द कंट्री they have the more knowledge about their enemy they have the more probability to win that war aisa hi hai na ke agar aapko apne dushman ke bare mein now of course i'm not talking about that type of dushman which we have in the borders to ek business ke andar bhi it is a kind of war to strategy ye honi chahiye ke aapko aapke enemy ya aapke jo competitor hain ya us country jiske bare mein aap ja rahe hain aapke paas maximum knowledge honi chahiye wahan ki क्योंकि ये आपके लिए द मोर नॉलेज यू हैव द बेटर इट विल बी फॉर यू टू परफॉर्म देयर एंड हैव पॉजिटिव आउटकम फ्रॉम योर बिजनेस सो दैट इज द मेन पॉइंट विच वी आर ट्राइंग टू एम्फोसाइज हेयर एंड लेवल फोर ट्रेनिंग प्रोवाइड स्किल बिल्डिंग इन एन एरियाज लाइक लैंग्वेज एडजस्टमेंट एंड एडाप्टेशन स्किल्स नाउ यू आर गोइंग डिफरेंट कल्चर डिफरेंट कंट्री तो वो ट्रेनिंग में ये आंसर भी शामिल होना चाहिए कि जिस जो आपके अंदर ये कैपेबिलिटीज ये एबिलिटीज को बढ़ाए कि आप जल्द दूसरी लैंग्वेज को अच्छी तरह लर्न कर सकें एडजस्टमेंट कर सकें उस नई सेटअप में नए कल्चर के अंदर नॉट ओनली एडजस्ट बट अडाप्ट दोज थिंग्स आपके अंदर अडेप्टेबिलिटी आनी चाहिए तो फिर दिस ट्रेनिंग विल बी इफेक्टिव एंड यूजफुल इफ यू आर गोइंग इन अदर मार्केट वॉट अबाउट परफॉर्मेंस मैनेजमेंट 
So, performance appraisal, performance management. Again, it varies from culture to culture, the country to country. They might have a different standards. They might have a different requirements. There might be certain rules about the performance management or performance appraisal or consequences of those appraisals. So, let us go through them and try to understand in the global prospect in the international business when we are talking about performance management. Okay, Consider legal requirements, local business practices and national cultures. Now, you might have your own culture, your own objectives, but of course, consider the requirements of the business, of course, local and national or apne host country ka or parent country ko dekhe aur phir dekhe ki kya best tarika adopt kar sakte hain aap performance management ka in another country, in another culture. Think about what is rated and how it is rated in that particular culture, in that particular society. How much performance is measured? Norms of providing feedback. Sometime it might be positive in a culture if you tell them that you are doing right or you are doing wrong. And in some culture, it might be taken a negative thing. Feedback ka jo system hai. Wo kaise hota hai maha pe? Or kis tarah uska effect hota hai aur taake aapko uska response mele ki performance improve ho. Basic philosophy will be the same. The evaluation and developmental basically. Not only evaluating, but of course, managing performance too. What about compensation? Pay levels relative to worth of the jobs may differ across countries. Why? Because they have a different labor market. And of course, again, the living standard, living requirement. Just I have given you an example. Japan, if you have a house, then its rent can be 100 times more than if you have to get a house in Nepal or in Pakistan. So, it varies from area to area, in country to country. Here, you can get one unit or one rupee or ten rupees, which is what you can get there, it can be ten dollars. So, accordingly, you have to adjust your compensation if you are going in another country. And then, there are also legal requirements of that country. Some might have very strict requirements that you have to this is the minimum wages you have to offer them. Location ke saab se pay kis tarah aapne tailor karni hai. Consider company cost ability to compete. Similarly, the competitive pressure there. Aapne wo jo equity wala concept hai within the organization and outside. Itna zada farak bhi agar ho gaya ki yahan domestic se international market mein to phir you can have pressure from home country. Everybody will be willing to go there. But same time, if you will bring it low, very low, outside market say, to wo equity jo hai, wo hogi and this will be demoralizing, demotivation factor. Incentive pay ka bhi concept develop ho sakta hai. Benefits, maybe legal issues and expectations. Waha ki, jis country mein aap ye kaam karo, jaha ke log le rahe hai, waha ki legal requirement ko bhi aapne consider karna hai before you should finalize your compensation. So, that was all about different aspects of international human resource management. But why international assignments fail? People go out and they are not successful, they fail. Why it happened? Career blockage, maybe people think this foreign thing is giving them the blocking their career. Culture shock, the big way, a moment nahi hota, lekin of course, some people are prone toward that. They are not easily adaptive, they do not easily adjust in new culture. Usse bho sare problem aate hain aur a moment aapki assignment jiske liye bheja jata hai, aap usme fail ho jate ho culture shock ke liye. Ki wajah se. Lack of pre-departure cross-culture training. This is the responsibility of an organization. Just say, piche training and development we have discussed here. Ke pre-departure training bhi honi chahiye. Just me wahan ke culture se aapko familiarize kiya jata hai. Aapko train kiya jata hai. Language wahan ki karai jati hai if you have a different language. Wahan ke rule regulation ko aapko samjaya jata hai. The values ko aapko bataya jata hai. To kisi wajah se agar wo nahi hoi saki, 
So that can be one reason of failure. Over, over emphasizing on technical qualification only, it is not only the technical qualification, of course it is the human aspect too which is very important when we are talking about the cross culture working. Agar bahut zyada technical side bhi emphasize kiya, to ho sakta hai, the human part is missing and then you can have all those as aspects, culture shock and other things and then again the person will be failed. And the family problem, especially in our society where we have joint family system, this family problem can also have very adverse effect on your performance there. And I have seen a lot of people coming back and only and only due to their family problems. Kisi ke parents ka masla hai, kisi ke bachchong ke education ka masla hai, kisi ke family ko le jana mushkil hai due to the limited resources and so on. So this is also one reason ke people when they go abroad and they fail in their assignments. Now upon return, now if people they have completed their assignment abroad, now when they are coming back, again they are facing problems. Whatever skill they have acquired during that outside assignments, when they are coming back, they are expecting that they will be given great respect. But no, when they are coming back, they don't have the respect or they don't people don't acknowledge their those extra skill which they have learned from that assignment. That might be a shock for them. This way, women are so that our kids, when they go abroad to study, or they spend a lot of time there working hard to acquire extra qualification. And then when they come back, so they are expecting that people will be waiting there, hard work, they will be standing, they will give them honor, but they probably don't ask them. So this is a very strange kind of thing. They are expecting something different here. But they are treated normally. दोनों का कसूर है, उनकी को उनको भी high expectation नहीं करनी चाहिए, और यहाँ को भी हमारे system को भी उनको acknowledge करना चाहिए, अगर इतने साल लगा के पढ़ के training लेके आए हैं तो उनको appreciate करना चाहिए। उसके अलावा status, now if they were working there, getting salaries in different currency, having a different status, back home the expectation is different, now they will come back, back to original Pakistani salary or whatever. तो स्टेटस विल बी दैट स्टेटस इज लॉस वो बच्चों की एक्सपेक्टेशन भी बढ़ जाती है पुअर प्लानिंग फॉर रिटर्न पोजीशंस दैट इज वन प्रॉब्लम एंड रिवर्स कल्चरल शॉक जैसे मैंने आपसे कहा था कि नाउ दे आर मोर यूज्ड टू ऑफ दैट कल्चर वेयर दे हैव स्पेंड सम टाइम नाउ दे आर कमिंग बैक दे स्टार्ट कंप्लेनिंग यहां सिस्टम नहीं अच्छा यहां रोड नहीं अच्छी व्हाटएवर दे कॉल इट रिवर्स कल्चरल शॉक तो ये भी इफेक्ट करता है जब लोग वापस आ रहे होते हैं हाउ टू मैनेज host countries implies. And so far, what we have discussed, we have discussed and focused mainly about expatriate. A company logo ko bahir country mein kisra usko samalna hai, kisra manage karna hai. Or uske baare mein human resource management ke jo activities unko discuss kiya. But the people who are working from the host country, that is also our responsibility. Uske liye manage ke liye kya kya karna hai. Quickly let's see them. Okay, how to manage the host country implies. Let's see. We have to adjust human resource practices to the norms and culture of the host country. The same way. Similarly, you have to train, develop training programs that are compatible with the host country's views of the education process. Us country ke jo process hai, uske mutabak apne training program ko adjust karna padega. Or similarly, the compensation, the third part. It is the HR activities, practices, the training and develop the compensation system that are adapted to what motivates implies in the host countries. Uske mutabak aap karenge to aapki wo management bhi. Now see, do in the Rome as the Roman do. Jis tarah ke ilaka, jis tarah ke values, jis tarah ke naam, us tarah ke mutabak aapne wahaan perform karna hai. So that is how the system will work. I think enough. Let's stop it here. Quickly summarize because we don't have enough time now left. Our topic today was managing human resource in international business and how inter-country differences affect human resource management activities like cultural factor, economic factor and labor cost factors. Why to discuss international human resource management? Because we have to go globally. It is a global village now. So that is the reason. Why international assignment fails? 
if we are not prepared, if we don't do the pre-departure training. That is why when people go to international assignment, they fail there. And upon return, again they have the pro pro problem. It might be reverse culture shock because they are now used to a different culture. So organization need to have arrangement so that avoid all those type of culture shocks. What about next? That will be the last one and we'll see what we are going to discuss in our last lecture. I'll stop it here. But this was very important topic, the global aspect and we have to realize things are changing. The world is becoming global village. village. And we have to adopt all those changes and different cultural aspect if we want to be successful. So one more to go. What should I tell you? I will say it again, work hard and then you can make the difference. With these thoughts, take care of yourself. Thank you very much. Assalamu alaikum.